hello guys welcome to this tutorial of chromatic polynomial so here we are given with this graph and we have to find the chromatic polynomial of this graph so for that we have to uh, calculate the chromatic number of this graph so first of all uh, one thing this one so first of all uh, we uh, the chromatic number what is chromatic number so chromatic number is the minimum number of colors which are required to color this graph so that no two adjacent vertex can be of the same color okay so if we color v1 with color 1 okay then v2 can be colored with color 2 because these two are adjacent again v3 can be colored with v color number 3 because this is adjacent to both of them so we are uh, coloring it with v3 now v4 this is adjacent to v3 and v1 so we can give color number 2 to this again this one is adjacent to v1 and v4 that is color number 1 and 2 so we can give color number 3 to this so the chromatic number is 3 now the chromatic polynomial general equation is given as this you can see that this is the general equation uh, so we have to calculate the coefficient that is c1 c2 up to c5 okay so c1 is 0 why because we are given with only one color and we have to color this whole graph with one color so that is not possible because we know that the minimum color is 3 again c2 is 0 the same logic now c3 we have to calculate c3 c3 uh, for C3 we can see that if we take these three vertex vertices V1, V2 and V3 this can be colored with color 1, 2 and 3 again this can be given with color 1 this one is with 2, this one is with so this is 3 factorial, 3 ways so that is 3 factorial that is 6 so C3 is 6 again we have to calculate C4 for C4 this can be colored this three can be colored with four ways any of this color can be assigned that is four factorial into this vertex this vertex can be colored with that fourth color if we assign one two and three to this then fourth color will be given to this one either to this one or to this one so this can be done in two ways so 4 factorial into 2 factorial that is 48 again c5 for c5 what we are doing here is we can color each and every vertex with any of these 5 colors so that is 5 factorial that is 120 ok so we calculated all those c1 to c5 those coefficients now we have to find the chromatic polynomial so that can be given as zero into x c one plus zero into x c two six into x c three plus forty eight into x c four one twenty into x c five okay now what we are doing here is this one is not nothing but the combination the formula of combination you know the combination formula uh, let me simplify this c3 then you will understand it easily so x factorial divided by 3 factorial into x minus 3 factorial so this can be simplified as x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 all divided by 3 factorial the other things are cancelled out so this is the simplified form of this this one ok so this can be written as 6 into x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 divided by 6 3 factorial means 6 and 48 into 
x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 divided by 24 4 factorial plus 120 into x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 x minus 3 x minus 4 divided by 120 that is the 5 factorial so we are cancelling all those terms and we get x into x minus 1 x minus 2 plus 2x x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 3 plus x into x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 3 x minus 4 okay so this is my final answer this is that chromatic polynomial we have to find so for this graph we done all the solutions and we obtain the we are obtained with this chromatic polynomial okay so i hope this tutorial is will be helpful for you thank you